I'm Casey Donovan and welcome back to The Space. Our Thursday theme is all about you, where we give you mindfulness tips for being your best self. Today we're talking about a mood-boosting topic that is very relevant post-lockdown, the psychology of a dramatic haircut. That is, should you really change your hair in a crisis? If you're someone who has hacked a fringe after a breakup, the answer might seem simple. Don't do it. But there are benefits to a style change when our life changes. According to psychotherapist Rebecca Newman, when we're going through a period of transition that is painful, we tend to make decisions that provide immediate relief. The problem is it's a short-term hit. So how can we choose whether to chop or not mindfully? Tip one, put a gap between your trigger and your reaction. When you feel the urge to get that bob, make a hair appointment for three days' time or longer. According to research, we're more likely to make risky choices under time pressure. Tip two, do you just need to rest? How many of us love going to the hairdressers for a chance to chill and be alone? If that's the case... Think of an alternative. Book in for a massage. Or go for a walk without your earbuds in. Tip three. If you do chop it, then own it. When you sit in the hairdresser's chair, smile at yourself. Tell yourself, I accept every version of myself. Now and in the future. And no take backsies. If you regret it later, remember that nothing is permanent even the stressful event which inspired your haircut. That's the good thing about life and locks. I'm Casey Donovan and you've been listening to The Space. Tune in tonight for another mood-soothing episode. We'll be sharing one easy question which can ditch a bad habit. Until then, space out.